Hi everyone, so we start topic 2 here and this is video number 1 of that so an exponential function, I want to talk about exponential functions and just power functions and compare them an exponential function is an equation that you have a base as um, base as a constant and the exponent changes okay so let's compare so for example here this is 2 power x which is exponential function and power function is x squared and they are not uh, for example one of the power functions and they are not the same as each other okay so here if i have x equal 0 so i have 2 power 0 is 1 x equal 1 2 power 1 2 x equal uh, for example minus 1 is 2 power minus 1 which is 1 over 2 which is half okay so if i do 2 it's 4 if i do minus 2 it is 1 over 4 so as you can see when i continue on negative is on positive the number is getting large but when i go to negative the number is really going to going to be a smaller so half 1 over 4 then 1 over 8 okay so it's going to be a smaller and a smaller and goes to close to close to an, a number which i'm going to show you okay look at this function see i have 15 which is a constant number okay as a base and the power is 3x minus 1 the power is changing okay so if you have for example x equal 1 it's 15 3 minus 1 which is 15 squared okay if you have 2 then you have 15 uh, 6 minus so 3 minus 2 minus 1 which is 15 power 5 okay so large numbers okay so I want you to pay attention exponential functions are not like power functions exponential functions for example as example for example I can say 2 power x and x squared okay but I don't write that here because then then you think when you open the lesson you think it's just about these two functions no okay so a power function yes it is x squared for example a power function can be like these okay so we, we saw before so we have changes on base and the powers are just constant okay so these are power functions okay so if, if I just want to just want to think about graphing so here i i want you to do to graph both of them but just in order to show it very beautiful so i just graphed it with a uh, software and i just added the picture here so let me okay so okay so the blue one is power function yes that's parabola which is x squared and this guy is 2 power x okay so i just changed the color maybe do i have pink here yes so this is 2 power x okay so yeah 2 power x here so the blue one is power and the red one is the exponential one yeah yeah so now it says graph uh, these two functions okay so again i uh, so i just graph them in the next page i just want to okay so i just want to um, so write some values here and then i show you the graph there okay see i said from where to where okay why because i need to pick a domain that shows it for example the, the important part of the function so i show you what to use for domain okay it's for x so okay so that's here so um okay so this one is this one here okay so all the time i yeah okay so x minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 okay so 2 power minus 3 2 power minus 3 what's that uh, 2 power yeah 2 power minus 3 so it's um, 1 over 8 yes so uh, negative 2 power minus 2 1 over 4 2 power minus 1 1 over 2 see as we continue to go towards larger number in negative it's 1 over 2 1 over 4 1 over 8 1 over 16 so it's going to be larger and larger in denominators means the whole fraction is smaller and smaller okay so if i divide one pizza between 16 people 
and I divide one pizza between eight people, so the 16 people, so they get less. Okay, so it goes smaller and smaller. So if I do zero, one, so here is um, two, and here is four. How about this one? So again, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two. Okay, two power minus minus three, which is eight. Okay, and then four, and then two, and then one, and then it is one over two, and then it is one over four, and then, oh, okay, so I miss here the three, so um, two power, so that's eight, and then here it's one over eight. Okay, so if you look at these so two, you compare these two functions, you can see as we go to negative and opposite, so negative and positive, then their, their behavior is opposite of each other. Okay, because I have 2 power x and 2 power minus x. Okay, so now I can show you here. I can show you here. In, in instead of just take time to graph it for you, so I just do it here. So this one is 2 power minus x. As you can see, 2 power minus x is, um, is just the right one here. Okay, as we go to negative, it's getting larger and larger. And we go to positive, we continue on positive, it goes to 0, towards 0. Now this one is 2 power x. This one is 2 power x. When we continue on positive, it's getting larger and larger. When we continue on negative, it's going to be small and small and eventually goes to zero. So that's why that's a behavior here. Okay, so now I want to talk about both functions. Okay, so let's just first talk about, um, I'm not sure if it's really visible. So here, yeah. So I just want to talk about 2 power x. Okay, so 2 power x, which is um, the uh, pink one. Okay, so the pink one here. So I write pink. Okay, so the pink one. Okay, the graph passes through this point, 0 and 1. Why? Because 1 is 2 power 0. That's why. That's a meaning. Domain is all real numbers. Domain is what you can use for... What you can use for... Okay, let me see. What you can use for x... I can use any number for x. Okay, so that's domain. So domain is everything, all real numbers. Range is just positive. As you can see, whatever I put there, y is positive. Look at this. Both of them. Both of them. The right side, which is y, okay, is just uh, positive values. x, y. x, y. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so that's just the range. So maybe I change the color here, and this is the range here. Okay? Yeah, so I can go here, continue. The graph is increasing. So 2 power x is increasing. Yes, look at this. It starts from, it starts from left side, it starts from low values and going up. Yes. Okay, so increasing. Oops, okay, so going up. Okay, yes, increasing. So, yeah. So the graph is asymptotic to the x uh, axis as x approaches to infinity. So this one, this, this one we, uh, we don't go to more details here, but this means, this means when x is approaching to minus infinity, okay, as x approaches to negative infinity, as x approaches to larger number in negative sign, okay, y is approaching to zero, okay, so, but this is just approaching, okay, because I cannot say x is exactly equal minus infinity, I can't, Minus infinity and infinity is where that I cannot touch it. So I cannot say x is equal infinity. That's not clear in mathematics. Okay? So I cannot sub in x equal minus infinity or infinity for x. Okay? So I say x is approaching. Y is approaching to zero. Because I say approaches, that called asymptotic. Because when I look at my function, I see my function here doesn't touch doesn't touch x-axis, just is approaching to zero, okay? So, is approach, is approaching to, uh, so, j just approaching to y equals zero, okay? So, as here, here for, yeah, for the pink one. So, here for pink one, okay? x approaches to minus infinity, y is approaching to zero, okay? So, this is, this is the meaning, 
okay so yeah okay so let me see yeah okay so the graph increases without bond as x approaches positive infinity yes x approaches to positive infinity so just just x goes to positive infinity y is going up going up and up and up okay so infinity as well okay the graph is continuous again this one we don't go to details at all but continuous means there is no discontinuity here so the, the function is continuous all the points are connected okay for example if i want to show you something which is not connected and not continuous i have to talk about um let me remember here is maybe okay so which is just talking about graphing Yeah, look at this. See, here I have discontinuity because at zero it is discontinuous. So the graph is partly left, partly right, but it's discontinuous. So it is not connected. Okay, so I don't have continuous function because I see something disconnection, a disconnection point. Okay, so that's a meaning, okay? But I'm not going to ask you, for example, is it continuous, is it not continuous? No, I just want you to really see it, okay? Because I cannot introduce a function for you and then I don't talk about these main points about the function. To me, this is, doesn't make any sense. If I just say, this is the function, let's continue to examples. So I, I really don't get it, okay? So... The, the other one, which is 2 power minus x, which is the blue one. Am I right? Is it blue? Yes. So the blue one, the same thing. If, if, if x is 0, y is 1. Yes, because that's 2 power minus x. Okay? So the domain is all real numbers, the same. The range is all positive number, the same. The function is decreasing. Okay, so this is decreasing. So going down going down how okay look at this yes it's decreasing see Woo! okay so decreasing okay yeah this state okay so decreasing so again again here here for blue uh so for blue one for blue one if x goes to infinity okay so y goes to zero because two is two power minus infinity Okay, but I don't do 2 power minus infinity because I cannot sub in. I have to say when x is approaching to infinity, when x is, for example, 10,000, it is 2 power minus 10,000. 2 power minus 10,000 is 1 over 2 power 10,000. And this is 1 over a very large number. 1 over a very large number approaches to 0. Okay, so that, that, that's a case. And the graph is, um, yes, incre increases when x approaches to in negative infinity so c x is approaching to minus infinity y is approaching to just infinity because it's two power uh, two power minus x and uh, and here yes here i can say okay so maybe i can write here so x approaches to infinity y is approaching to zero x is approaching to minus infinity y is approaching to infinity okay and again the graph is continuous okay so Many, many functions uh, that the graph is continuous, we call them well-behaved functions because there is no disconnection anywhere, okay? So, but we don't go to too many details. But when I talk about a new function, I have to talk about these points. You need to have good understanding of the properties of the function. Okay, so 2 power x and 2 power minus x here. I want to compare it uh, from another perspective. Okay, 2 power minus x is 1 over 2 power x, which is 1 over 2 power x here. Okay, look at this. Oh, okay, so both of them are x, but one of them, 2 is more than 1, and one of them, 1 over 2, is less than 1. Okay, so let's just compare it this way. Okay, so this way. Look at this. This is, okay. So this is 10 power x. This is e power x. So which we are, we are going to talk about it. Okay. So this is 2 power x. As you can see, all of them are at the right because it's um, a is more than 1. Okay. So here, 
10 more than 1 e more than 1 2 more than 1 and this one is 1 over 2 power x or 2 power minus x which is the same thing and you can see okay 1 over 2 1 over 2 is less than 1 so you see it on the other side exactly the same as here exactly the same as this c here is 2 power x change the color that this is 2 power x okay but the other one is the other one is 1 over 2 power x which is 1 over 2 power x which is okay so i can write maybe that, that side okay so that side it is 1 over 2 power x which is 1 over uh, so yeah it's 1 over 2 power x which is 1 over 2 power x so 1 over 2 is less than 1 and you see it on the other side okay totally opposite behavior okay so so good point so if i have if i have a power x that a is more than one i see it this way okay so maybe i can write here yeah so okay a power x a is more than one and here a power x but a is less than one okay so the behavior is opposite okay so we talk about that so i have to show why a is positive so as you can see so far i didn't talk about negative a so i just say a is more than one a is less than one but how about negative how about negative a must be positive so why okay let's see just this y equal I want to answer all of these because I do not want so any doubt comes to your mind I really want you to uh, understand when I talk about a new function so there are many questions that come to a student mind and I want to answer all of them if possible I try my best okay so why we think and we believe that a must be positive look at this if I have minus 2 power x okay so let's see x and y for example if x is uh, for example if x is minus 3 okay so it's minus 2 power minus 3 which is 1 over minus 2 power 3 which is minus 1 over 8 how about minus 2 okay minus 2 power minus 2 which is 1 over minus 2 power 2 which is 1 over 4 see it jumps jumps from negative to positive yes i know it's one over eight and then one over four but jumps from positive and negative positive to negative so how about uh, minus one minus one is minus two power minus one which is one over minus two okay which is my c again negative so here negative here positive how about if i say okay zero if I put 0, it is 1. If I put 1, it is minus 2 power 1, which is minus 2. If I put 2, it's minus 2 power 2, which is 4. See? Positive and negative. So if I do 3, so it is minus 2 power 3, uh, so minus 2 power 3, which is minus 8. Okay? So again. So here I have negative, 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 and this one positive okay so it jumps from positive to negative so i don't have um, i don't have any will i don't have any will behave function in this case because if i want to graph it look at this if i want to graph it so it is jump ju jumping just from positive to negative see if i have zero one two and three and i have um minus one oops sorry about that i have to have zero what's wrong with me so one two and three and here minus one just i want to show you okay so minus three okay so what happened for uh, minus three okay minus three so it's going to be here for example and then minus two minus two is going to be here and then up and down minus one is going to be It's going to be negative yeah minus half so this way and then one and then zero is one 
okay so and then one is minus two okay see it's jump is jump jump up and down so from here jumps to that so this 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 so it's not a well behaved function because jumps from positive to negative so this is the reason okay of course i'm not going to ask you these things but i want you to know okay why i i'm not even talking about po negative uh, negative a sometimes so from once in a while i have a students uh, that based on my experience they come to my office and they ask okay so what is the reason for this they think about these things so i really want you to uh, to know it okay so now here we move to exponential function we talk about exponential function so what do we mean for exponential function and then i finish the lesson for topic two okay so i stop here and then i continue in the next video so this is video number one thank you just i continue on the next video